Tires are one of the most critical components of your vehicle. They're responsible for providing shock absorption and traction, keeping you safe on the road. Tires are mounted on wheels bolted to the vehicle, absorbing shocks from rough surfaces and creating friction, or traction, with the road. This keeps your car stable and in control during all driving conditions. A tire is composed of several key parts, each playing a critical role in its performance, durability, and safety. Let's take a closer look at each one. Tread, tread is the part of the tire that touches the ground, and it plays a huge role in traction and durability. The rubber in the tread is specially designed for this purpose, and it's actually different from the rubber used in the rest of the tire. Every tire has wear indicators, also known as wear bars. These are built into the tread to let you know when it's time to replace your tires. Once the tread depth reaches the legal limit, bald strips will appear across the tire. At this point, your tires are no longer safe for driving. Let's talk about grooves, the large, deep recesses molded into the tread. These are what separate the tread blocks, and they come in two main types, circumferential grooves that run around the tire. And lateral grooves that run sideways across the tread grooves are critical for wet traction. They help channel water away so the tire stays in contact with the road. Without them, water gets trapped under the tire, and your car could start to hydroplane. Hydroplaning happens when a layer of water lifts your tires off the road, making stopping or cornering impossible. Worn tires are especially dangerous in wet conditions. To help with both wet and dry traction, most tires also have sipes, tiny slits in the tread. These sipes provide additional grip by flexing as the tire rolls, keeping you safer in all driving conditions. The sidewall. This is the part of the tire between the tread and the wheel. While it might seem like just another piece of rubber, the sidewall is packed with critical information like the tire size, construction, and other key details about its performance. Have you ever noticed some tires turning brown on the sidewalls over time? This happens because of ozone damage. When exposed to the atmosphere, the rubber oxidizes, causing that brown discoloration. Premium quality tires combat this with an anti-oxidizing chemical additive blended into the sidewall rubber. This keeps the sidewalls looking fresh and prevents the damage caused by exposure to the elements. When pneumatic tires were first introduced, tires were made entirely of natural rubber, so they were completely white. Later, tire manufacturers discovered that adding carbon black to the rubber made the tires significantly tougher and more durable. This new material was used for the tread portion of the tire, which came into contact with the road. But there was a problem, the public wasn't thrilled about losing their stylish white tires. To bring back the popular white look, manufacturers started putting the carbon black rubber on the tread but left the sidewalls white. This created the iconic white wall tire design that became a hallmark of style and sophistication. Bead. Bead is the foundation of the tire. Located at the point where the tire grips the wheel rim, the bead is critical for keeping the tire securely mounted. The bead is made of multiple turns of copper or bronze-coated steel wire, which are wrapped tightly to create a strong and durable base. The body plies, those layers of material inside the tire, are also wrapped around the bead to form the main structure. If the bead of a tire is cut or damaged, it cannot be repaired. The entire tire must be replaced. Most radial ply tires and all truck tires have extra reinforcement wrapped around the bead to add strength. This makes them more durable and capable of handling higher loads. Body plies. Or what's often called the tire's carcass. These layers of material are wrapped around the bead and extend under the tread and sidewall rubber, forming the main framework of the tire. Body plies are critical for giving the tire its strength and shape. For example, a four-ply tire means it has four separate layers of material. The arrangement of these plies also determines the tire's type. If the body plies overlap at an angle, the tire is called a bias ply tire. But if the plies run directly from bead to bead without crossing at an angle, it's called a radial ply tire, which is the most common type today. Body plies are made from different materials, such as rayon, nylon, aramid, kevlar, and polyester. Tire belts are the reinforcement layers that sit between the body plies and the tread of your tire. 
Their job is to stabilize the tread, improve handling, and increase the tire's tread life. By providing this extra stability, tire belts ensure that your tire maintains better contact with the road, enhancing both performance and safety. Tire belts can be made from a variety of materials, each chosen for specific benefits. Common belt materials include steel mesh, which adds strength and durability. Nylon, known for its flexibility and high-speed performance. Rayon, which provides a smoother ride. Fiberglass, for its lightweight and strong properties. And aramid, the same material used in Kevlar, for extreme strength. Modern radial tires often use a combination of these materials to deliver the perfect balance of performance, durability, and comfort. Inner Liner This is a soft rubber lining, usually made from a butyl rubber compound, located on the inside of your tire. Its job is to protect the body plies, the tire's structural layers, and to help with self-sealing small punctures. Think of it as your tire's first line of defense against air loss and minor damage. Without the inner liner, tires wouldn't hold air pressure effectively or last as long. Major Splice This is a critical part of the tire's assembly process. When a tire is built, the body plies, belts, and tread rubber are spliced or joined together on a tire building machine. The fabric overlaps by about five threads, and where the majority of these overlaps occur is called the major splice. This point is the stiffest part of the tire and can usually be spotted on the inside of most tires. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more automotive tips.